This video will include every missable achievement slash trophy here in Buddy Simulator 1984. This is all going to be in chronological order, starting out here in the text-based portion of the game. When you make it to the house, you want to head to the pond and then choose to use the water in order to try and drink it for your first achievement slash trophy. After this, you want to head into the shed and you'll be told that there is both a thing and a surprise in here and you want to choose to take the thing and take the surprise. You'll get a fishing pole and you'll also get a code. This code is randomized, so just remember this code so you can use it later on. Now that we have the fishing pole returned to the pond and we're going to use the fishing pole twice on the pond, the first time we'll get a key which is going to help us progress, but the second time we will unlock an achievement slash trophy for collecting a severed hand. After getting the hand, you want to go ahead and use it, and the hand will crawl away from you. Now just go and do some other random things, and eventually the hand will crawl back to you and tell you that there's a hidden place. Choose to go to that hidden place, and then you need to use the code that we found earlier to open the box in the hidden place to get your first collectible. There are a bunch of collectibles throughout the game, but this is the first one you can get, and there's only one achievement slash trophy related to collecting the collectibles, and it's just for getting your first one. Later on in the 1D portion of the game, after the dog starts following you home, once you're outside of your home, just choose to keep petting the dog until eventually the game will ask if you want to pet yourself. Make sure that you choose yes and you will get another achievement slash trophy. After helping Mayor Tortley in the north, head back down towards your house and you're going to use the coin that they gave you on the wishing well to get another achievement slash trophy. The 
back in the north, you want to take the first road to the left. This is going to take you to Rudy's Blacksmith. And then you want to head down from here and interact with the scrap at the end of this trail to find a key. We're going to use this to get into a house momentarily. With the key, head to the center of the town and then take the first road to the left and you want to go to the final house. You're going to use the key to get inside and once you talk to the character inside of here, you will get another achievement slash trophy. This character is also going to give you a set of quests. There's three of them in total, so go ahead and complete the first two. They're very simple. And then after that, you want to return to this character to do their third quest for another achievement slash trophy. So for their third quest, you need to find their buddy Treever, who is undercover, and it just so happens to be the tree that's directly outside of this house. So once you exit the house, just talk to the tree right outside, and you will get another achievement slash trophy. In the northwestern part of town, you can find this character, Cauldron, who is a cook, and you want to start his quest up where you need to find three ingredients for him to make you some kind of amazing dish. From here, head to the southeast corner of the area in order to find Screwbert, and you want to enter his house and take his dead grandmother. And I think you have an idea of where we're going next. So with his dead grandmother in our inventory, we want to head back to Cauldron and we're going to use her in the meal that he is preparing for us, which will get another achievement slash trophy. But don't worry, you'll get all of your items back in your inventory, whatever you do choose to use to make this dish. In this same area, you should find Morton, this rock character who wants to be moved and you can choose to help him by selecting yes. This will add him to your inventory and we need to take him to two specific places for two different achievement slash trophies. First, we want to head to Toots Tavern in the top part of this section, and we're going to just put him on the ground right in front of the bar so he can talk to the bartender. This will get us our first achievement slash trophy related to Morton. <laughs> After picking Morton up, we want to head back outside and we want to head down the sewer that is just behind Toots Tavern. And again, we're going to put Morton on the ground next to Lloyd, who is the character down here. Morton will immediately hop back into your inventory because it turns out that he hates Lloyd, and you'll get another achievement slash trophy. Also, while you're down here, make sure you speak with Lloyd so you can start his quest where he just wants a friend. <laughs> Thank you. 
and luckily for Lloyd, we have the perfect friend for him, so we're just going to use Dead Grandma on Lloyd in order to give him a friend. Now, after this conversation, Lloyd will start to recite poetry. You need to stand down here and wait one whole minute listening to his poetry for another achievement slash trophy. <laughs> After exiting the sewers, you want to head to the band right to your right, you should already notice them, and go ahead and talk to them and you'll find out that they are missing a band member. Agree to go find that band member. The band member can be found in the tree stump just north of Cauldron. So go and speak to the band member, they'll agree to come with you, and then you want to return to the band so you can play some music with them. Once you return to them, you'll be able to play the music with them, and you'll be on the drum. Just go ahead and spam it, making sure that you hit the drum at least 20 times in order to get yet another achievement slash trophy. After getting your sword in the 2.5D section of the game, head back to the north and we're going to pass by the band and keep going to the right until you get to this cage. And you want to just use your sword on the cage multiple times until you break free Novak for another achievement slash trophy. In the southeast corner of Bloodlands, you're going to need to do a lever puzzle, and the lever all the way to the right is actually a character, so make sure that you smack it once in order to start this conversation, and then just keep smacking it until it decides to jump into the water. Now, this lever is going to come up a couple more times, so we're not getting an achievement slash trophy here yet, but we will get it a little bit later on, so we'll be seeing Levi again soon. <laughs> Once you make it to the next town, you should pass the mayor's estate, and you'll see this character, Bronk, and he's talking about how he needs a bard to teach. And luckily for him, there is a bard just over here a little bit further to the right. So after talking to Bronk, you want to head to the right and you want to talk to Bimmy Bardo, who is, I think, like a cello or something like that. But anyways, you want to go ahead and speak to him. As part of the conversation, you'll need to name his song. You can choose whatever name you want. And then after finishing the conversation, you want to head back to Bronk, and you're going to tell Bronk the name of the character, Bimmy Bardo. So you need to type that out, and once you do, you'll get another achievement slash trophy. From here we want to head all the way to the north of the city and we're going to break some boxes up here in between some buildings so we can get to a secret boss. They're called the Shape Gang and we need to defeat them for another achievement slash trophy. This is not an easy fight so just a heads up, a warning, but don't worry if you do lose to them you can always just come back here and fight them again and again until you finally beat them. Once you do, your achievement slash trophy will pop. Okay. 
back on the docks before the Captain Chunk boss fight, you're going to come to yet another lever puzzle, and the idea here is that you want to flip all of the real switches to the right and all of the decoys to the left. That's how you would solve the puzzle. However, first we need to reveal Levi once again. So in order to do that, we want to flip all of the levers to the right. This will reveal Levi and will move us on to the next and final step for getting this achievement slash trophy related to Levi. Finally, after defeating King Raph, you want to head into the next room where you will find Levi, who has finally found his place in the world. This will be your final missable achievement slash trophy in the game, so I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please hit that subscribe button, and why not like the video as well.